Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Green by Paranorm. As always, guys, thank you for your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all information can be found down below in the description. So we have Capricorn Aquarius Cusp. And again, guys, these are general readings. So take what applies and leave the rest. Um, we have last call for your energy. You're being, there's something that is a last call, last chance, last opportunity, or at least it feels that way. Um, there's an energy of maybe you feel pressure. You feel like um, there's a deadline or something that you have to, that you have to meet. Um, and, and it's almost kind of like, okay, it's here. This is the last, you know, like when you go to like a bar or something and they do like the last call, like last time to get your drink before we close the bar. It's almost kind of like that type of energy for some of you. It's about the last call about learning, um, a lesson within us, uh, uh, about learning a specific lesson. Let's put it this way before a cycle completely closes out or be, it's almost kind of like, okay, this is it. If you don't get it, it's like, we're going to have to restart this all over again. It's almost kind of like that type of last call energy that I'm picking up. So it's like, really pay attention to, um, to what it is, um, to what lessons are really, are really trying to come through this week. Um, if you find yourself in a familiar energy or familiar space with with people or with connections or relationship it's like okay this seems familiar but why is it that it's happening again what was the lesson that i didn't learn the first time around that i'm being asked to really pay attention on um, this moment in time like why is it almost feel what does it almost feel like you're reliving the same thing just with different characters in the story um, and when you allow yourself to really look at the entire storyline, um, without getting attached, let's put it this way, then you're able to see what the lesson is within that so that then you're not repeating it in the next chapter. So with your um, tower card, your tower, your tower cards, we have um, the Hierophant, which is the... The Magus of Eternal Gods. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, which is the Lord of Oppression. And then we have the Blasted Tower, which is the Lord of of the Host of the Mighty. So again, there is something that is definitely coming to... There, there's something that is coming to an end or something that is is trying to close up something is trying to wrap up and in order for it to wrap up in order for it to be to end it almost kind of like it has to be completely chair down um in order for the new foundation to take place so for a lot of you that is where this energy comes in where a lot of you have to allow the ending of something to happen in order for the new beginning to start and some of you may have a difficult time with that. So let's go ahead and let's pull out um, a love energy card. Now this can be any type of um, relationship, self, romantic, platonic, spirituality. We have the self-indulgent, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. A lot of you, when it comes to letting things end or letting things go, it's very difficult because you're so used to... Um, either always always being needed or always being in an energy where uh, it's almost kind of like a lot of you have a hard time with changes to be honest with you and because you have a lot of time with change it and, and adjustment you almost kind of like fear endings because you know that with that change is coming so let's go ahead and let's pull out um an oracle card for your closing message Change is inevitable no matter what. Um, so let's go ahead. We have number 58, the vanishing mirror. So again, your ego or, or that part of yourself is, is trying to tell you that, that nothing has to change, that everything is perfectly fine. There is a sense here of a lot of you just needing to knock that lie straight in the face and being like, you know what? 
without change, I can't grow. I can't evolve. And knowing that, yeah, there's going to be uncomfortable spaces and time as we're growing and as we're changing and evolving, but it is all part of the process. It is part, all part of the experience that we're living here on earth. Well, guys, that is all that I have. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.